Hello everybody, this is me Khalid Maharaj Malik. Uh, in the previous video, we have studied about network functions and responses. In this video, we shall be studying about uh, Laplace transforms of certain electrical parameters like uh, resistance, capacitance, uh, inductance, etc. Okay. First of all, let us see. frequency domain frequency domain representation of impedance We see impedance. Impedance is uh, denoted by Z, and in in frequency domain, if it is represented in frequency domain, after making it into the Laplace transform from its time domain function, it will become Z as a function of frequency Z s will be equal to voltage. What is what is impedance? It is voltage upon current V of s divided by I of S. I already told whenever those voltages or currents are what whatsoever it is, it is uh, impedance or let it be admittance. Those are visualized with time. We notice them with the passing time, how they are behaving with the passing time. And if we do Laplace transforms upon them, they will be converted into, into the frequency domain. Okay, let us. Uh, we are now we are seeing them in the uh, frequency domain what is uh, this uh, uh, impedance this impedance is voltage in the frequency domain upon current in the frequency domain okay similarly admittance by in the frequency domain will be equal to the reciprocal of this uh, impedance in, uh, impedance and admittance Together we can name both impedance and admittance as emittance. We can name both of them as emittance. They are called emittance as a whole as a, as together. Okay. Why is this equal to I of S upon V of S? Okay. What does this impedance comprise of? This impedance comprises of a mixture of resistor, resistance, capacitance and inductance. Okay. So uh, as we have already seen uh, in our previous lectures, Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. Okay. So let us see uh, frequency domain functions of certain network. Sorry. Uh, say uh, we have parameters we have the parameters network parameters resistance R L C frequency domain frequency domain for this uh, impedance in case they are used in impedance they will be r will be converted into r of s l will be converted into l of s and c will be converted into 1 upon c of s and for admittance y if they are used in y then r will be 1 upon r of s 1 upon l of s and this one, this one will be c of 
this. Okay. So noting down up to here, we shall move on to the next. Here we see uh, this is one upon R. What is one upon R? One upon one upon R is one upon resistance is conductance. This will become G of S. In the next section, we shall be studying about poles and zeros. Sorry, first of all, we shall uh, we will not skip that. We will see ladder networks. What are ladder networks? Okay. Here down, let me see. Let me make ladder network. Ladder network. A ladder network is nothing but a two port network having impedances and admittances in between. Okay, let, let us see how, how a two port network is made. It is made like this and one. This is and one dash. This is and two and two dash. Okay, here we insert. Impedances are in series. Impedance, let this be impedance Z1. Here we will insert admittance Y2. Here we insert impedance Z3. Here admittance. Y4 impedance Z5 and so on like this. This one forms a ladder network in which the impedances are placed in series and the and the uh, and the admittances they come uh, across the two terminals across the two terminals. Okay. So we shall be seeing what will be the total impedance for this ladder network. We shall write an equation for this. Okay. If this is done, let us do it further. The total, the total impedance for this one will be in the frequency domain or in the time domain, however you write. This one will be 1 upon Z1 plus 1 upon Y2 plus 1 upon 1 upon Z3 plus 1 upon Y4 and so on. This will be like this. The total impedance of this ladder network will be like this. The total impedance. What is the ladder network? It is a two port network in which the admittances are across the, across the terminals, across the ports and the impedance is are taken across one line of the network. The total impedance will be like this. So, Now we shall see poles and zeros of 
अ नेटवर्क फंक्शन ऑफ अ नेटवर्क here let us see some function some network function is like this some constant a a to subscript uh, a to subscript 1 uh, n say n in the decreasing order we will write in the descending order a m s power n plus a n minus 1 s power n minus 1 and so on what is this s this s is the complex frequency and those are sorry okay like this and this then it will become at the end sorry let us write in the same constant a1 s plus a0 divided by denominator in the denominator we will take another uh, constant b n s power n plus b n minus 1 s power n minus 1 and so on up to b1 s plus b zero okay so here in the numerator what do we see in the numerator in the numerator we see we have a constant multiplied by multiplied by some frequency constant multiplied by some frequency frequency domain so it becomes a network function it becomes an electrical network function with a particular numerator with its terms in the descending order and the denominator with its terms in the descending order okay so this this term uh, the terms of this uh, numerator they will they will form the zeros and the terms of this denominator they will form the poles let all of those all of those uh, so uh, what what we call them we call them constants all of those constants they form a constant k this implies this will be reduced in the form k this will form first term will give s minus z1 where s is the complex frequency as already told s s s in all the terms with the decreasing power n is the total number of terms in the numerator this will reduce to s power 0 here which is 1 frequency power 0 which is 1 first will form s minus z1 s minus z2 and so on this will form s minus Z n. If we write them in ascending order, this one will form. This one will be corresponding to this one, and this one will be corresponding to this one. Okay. In the similar way, denominator will be. This constant k is combined by both a and b. The ratio of a and b in all the terms. Okay. We will not write constant over again here because con uh, constant is always taken uh, already taken from a and b okay in the denominator it will be s minus p1 s minus p2 s minus p3 and so on s minus p n okay what are those z1 z2 zn and so on up to zn P one, P two, P three, and so on up to P n. What are those? Z for zeros and P for poles. Numerator Z one from the numerator Z one, Z two, and so on Z n. Those are the zeros of zeros of n. Zeros of a network function. Network. 
फंक्शन एंड पी वन पी टू एंड सो ऑन अप टू पी एन फ्रॉम द डिनोमिनेटर दो आर द पोल्स ऑफ अ नेटवर्क फंक्शन सो वट इज द यूज ऑफ दो जीरो एंड पोल्स वी शेल बी स्टडी इन अवर अपकमिंग अपकमिंग वीडियोज सो अ रेशनल नेटवर्क here you have to remember a point that that is often asked in competitive exams a rational network rational network has equal number same number of same number of poles and zeros so what is the rational network rational network is a type of network in which the number of poles and zeros is same okay so poles and zeros of a network function are also done over again let us uh, revise this over again let let there let, let there be a function of uh, an electrical function say a voltage or a current whatsoever it is okay we take the numerator in which there are certain terms certain terms uh, with frequency domain with frequency domain with constant and some frequency s so in the descending order from n to n to n equal to 0 okay and in the denominator same with the constant b from the numerator but what this key uh, what this uh, k denotes this k denotes the ratio of a and b the ratio of a and b that is constants in the de uh, descending order combined and this will form k uh, frequency minus z1 s minus z2 this this term will uh, this term will be corresponding to the last this one term and this term will be corresponding to n term will be corresponding to the first term okay this one is in descending order this one is in the ascending order we have written this in the ascending order those z1 z2 and so on zn they will constitute of zeros and those will form the poles of a network function okay thank you we are done with this in the upcoming uh, in the upcoming chapters in the upcoming videos we shall be dealing with the further topics of our uh, dc basics okay thank you